Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals. And a funny thing happened while I was trying to shoot my video. I did not have the camera turned on. <laughs> so I printed my pages and chatted away. And then when it was all finished, I realized that I didn't have it on video. So what I'm gonna do, because I wanna make sure I show you how to use one of these jelly plates in case you haven't used it. But I learned a couple of things. One is, oh, and the other thing was, a lot of it was out of frame too. What did what I did shoot was out of frame. So it's like, oh my goodness, slow down. So I've got a different setup because the camera holder that I was using keeps slipping. And so I'm using a different camera holder. We'll see how this works out. Uh, this one has a tripod with legs that are casting shadows, but try not to let that bother me. <laughs> um, so I have my jelly plate with still paint from the other day or from when I did it. And I'm just gonna talk about a couple of things. My sister pointed out to me that these things will get bubbles in them if you leave them on the acetate that they come on. So when you buy one, be sure you pull the acetate off of it. And then she said, you know, she did the research. She said, just stick a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper I printed on. Just a regular piece of, uh, you know, print, printer paper on the back side of it. And it should be good to go. So that's what I've been doing. And then um, the other thing I was gonna do, just take a minute and show you some of my stencils that I have. Um, I am upstairs over my garage, I don't have a sink. And so these end up with paint getting dried on them. I took them down and kind of soaked them in some water and used a, uh, like a wash rag type terry cloth uh, rag on them after a while and it took some of the paint off. But kind of delicate, so you want to be careful. Let me move these so you can actually see the pattern. <laughs> so there's this one. And you know, with the with the Esther journal and the designs from Persia, they their kind of way of doing things, it was very like, uh, what's the word? Like this kind of design or this kind of design. You would see it kind of, ge not geometric exactly, but yeah, but you know, here's another one that looks very Persian to me. And um, so those two particularly, I felt like kind of lent themselves to what we're doing, but I didn't let that stop me. I have one that I like here that's more kind of a random. And uh, this one, I'm going to I'm going to tell you the names of a, like three people that I get them from and where I get them from. Here's another one that's a little bit more random that I love. Anyway, let me pull those out. I kept the packaging from the ones I bought. So I'll just show you those. It's Rebecca Meyer, M E I E R. Um and I get them at the craftersworkshop.com. Uh, there's, that's the same person. I didn't use some of these, like these crazy geometric shapes that didn't seem like they went with the journal, so I didn't use that one. Um, this is Julie Faye Fan Balzer, B-A-L-Z-E-R. I have a couple of hers. And uh, Marlene Meyer Van Niekirk, M E I J E R dash V A N N I E K E R K, and she's from South Africa. But she designs um, a lot of really nice stencils. So that's where I got my stencils, in case you're. I also have this one, which I like a lot, and this is from Linda Israel. And uh, she sells a lot of art supplies, and this one is really nice because it's just exactly the size of a sheet of printer paper. So the other ones, you either have paint on the outside that you touch and get on your paper or else it's too too small. So hers are uh, just exactly the right size, so that's nice. Okay, so I'm going to get started here. 
I have an old journal that I roll my roller on to clean it off. So lay it over here to the side. And these plates are only about $20, $20-$25 for one about this size. And the roller, I think it's like six or eight dollars, I'm not sure. And then you can just use whatever cheap paint or expensive paint you have laying around. I have paint from uh, the Dollar Tree, and then I also have, uh, you know, golden paint. So expensive, cheap. Here's some fabric paint that I uh, use. You can use watercolor and all that, but the main ones that it's kind of made for is acrylic paint. So I'm going to show you what I did while I thought I was <laughs> shooting a video. I was trying to have some subtle color ones, and this one came out, I thought, really pretty. I like this one a lot. That's probably my favorite. So it's on the backs of these pages because, you know, we have these white backs that we've got to do something with. So there's another one that was like a ghost print, which was is where you, after you've printed one, you print another one off of it. And then I, I did use some black. Oh, I, I had a like a ready to do a ghost print, like a secondary on here. And then I put some black on it and that's what came out of that. So I'll just show you. I, try, I tried to use uh, the aqua and green because there's a lot of peacock imagery. So I thought that would, and there's those colors are in the journal too. So use some of that. Here's a black one that I'll probably, I mean, it's okay and it's interesting, but I may have to do some decoupage or something over that or put some white gesso on it. And then there's that one. So the oranges and the golds and the, you know, cause there's also poppy imagery. So there's one that's a secondary print that I thought was nice, more subtle. Here's a blue green. Now this was a secondary print where it had some left on the plate and then I put some white over it. And you know, when you print with a jelly plate, whatever is on there on the bottom comes up on the top when you print. So it's reversed. So I had this blue green on the plate. I went over it with white. So then when I pulled it up, what was underneath, which was the blue green shows and the whites behind it. There's another one. This one I used two templates. I printed it and it wasn't very interesting, so I went over it again with another uh, stencil. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. When I say template and stencil, I kind of use the words interchangeably, which I shouldn't, but that's, if you hear me say template, I'm trying to say <laughs> really, what I really mean is uh, stencil. Okay, so uh, that that's the results I got. And I am gonna use some napkin decoupage and things on these too. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, I went to the add-on kit because there are, this kit is different than any of my other kits in that it has um, some big illustration, big pieces that we're gonna use. And so they also have a white back. When you you know unfold them, they're gonna be just blank. So you need to do something to them. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, printing on them. And then if it picks up on these, that's fine too, because they, they'll be just plain white on the back too, so it doesn't hurt to have color put on those. So. Um, there were several, thought I would do these too. So those will be what I use to demonstrate. Hopefully the camera's running. <laughs> so I use a lot of white. So I'm gonna start with that and put some white on there and some peacock colors. So just a little bit of the green and a little bit of the turquoise. and roll that out. The other thing I learned is wear an apron, which I knew that, so I did wear an apron, but some paint jumped outside of my apron and got on my shirt yesterday. So I learned that <laughs> you should wear an old t-shirt when you use paint. I think we learned that in kindergarten, but 
apparently I forgot. So I'm going to use this template from, or this stencil from Linda Israel. Now my plate is only eight by 10, so it is actually not big enough to do a full sheet of printer paper, but it is big enough to do this. So I'm going to just make sure I get all of that on there. And then it'll pick a little bit up on these other things. And when you rub like that, if you have a, if you come inside and you have paint, just be sure you don't hit that with your finger, because then when you go like this, you'll have these paint swirls all over your. Oops. Okay, so there's that. Like that. Okay, so let me take that off. And so there's where I, what I was talking about with like the secondary. I could do a ghost print where I lay it down on it again. Um, and actually, I think I will do that because I do like it. So I'll use it on this one. And if there's any paint left on your plate, a lot of times it'll pick up with these prints as you go, which I kind of like. Okay, so there's that one. And then I'll put more paint. So see, I still have blue-green. Still have some orange from yesterday. And I'm going to do a little bit of this red. This is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, quinacridone, I think. Magenta from Golden. It's one of my favorites. And a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to... I don't like those ovals that come when you roll the paint, and I try not to do that, but okay. I think I'm gonna put some blue. Let me find a blue because I see a royal like a royal blue, which is also a peacock color. So I've got this from Dollar Tree. Let me try adding a little bit of that. Again, not a fan of the ovals it makes, but. Okay, then I'll put this template over it. And so it's got kind of the same colors in it. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, well, I'm gonna take that off and use the back of that print for the next sheet. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white and roll over it. It kind of dries out, and so when you add more paint to the back, it re, what's, it wets the paint again and makes it come up and stick to your paper. So that's why I'm adding paint to it. Kind of helps grab that paint that's on there. And transfer it to your paper. Okay, that's pretty. I like the subtlety of that. Um, I kind of have trouble by getting a little too crazy and bold when I do this, so I'm, I'm liking the more subtle, subtle things on this. Okay, so let me try, I, I don't know how this will go with it, but I'm gonna try some going in the other direction from blue, and I'm gonna do some gold and some brick reds, kind of the poppy-ish colors, maybe. Got a little bit too much gold on there, I'm gonna. Roll that off, hopefully. That doesn't, you know, like I said, it makes layers, so I don't know how that's, that's gonna come. Okay, 
Okay, so I feel like that needs, I'm gonna put some green in it. I don't know. The green's gonna be in the background, so I don't even know if it's gonna show. We'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna do a temp, or, uh, I can't quit saying template. Okay. So my main concern is this picture, so I'm gonna lay it, try to get it, the whole thing on here. Not sure about this one. The colors were pretty crazy. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna take white and roll over it. And maybe a little blue. I'm just gonna see what happens if I put just a little bit of this peacock blue here on top of the orange. Hopefully, you know, you can, if you, if you do too many combinations, you end up with ugly brown. So we don't want that. <sighs> okay. Got this one, and I'm gonna do the back of this because it's gonna fold in half, and so it will show. So will this card here, but I'm not, this is my main concern on here. Uh-oh, did I not put Ah, I didn't put a template on there. Oh, I meant to not put, I already forgot what I was doing. Okay, because it had it on there. It was a secondary print. So, I mean, that's okay. I'll probably do some decoupage on there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that paint on there and just keep adding to it. I think I'm going to go back. I like this one blue a lot. Operate with me. Let's see. I might do some orange. I'm going to do some bright orange. I've got bright orange and yellow orange. And you got to be careful with orange and blue because, you know, you put orange and blue together, it makes brown. So don't get them. You don't want to get too carried away when you mix. Mix those colors. Ew, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, here's what not to do. All right, so what I'm going to do, I don't like that at all. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of scrap paper and just lift that off. <laughs> Fortunately, this paint's cheap and it doesn't hurt anything. Oh, yeah, that's really ugly. Okay. And I think I'll even leave, do a ghost print. And takes these are just off off prints from other things I've done. Whew, that blue is powerful. Dang, I might have to do another print. In fact, I think I will because I really don't want that. be that garish. Let's use this piece of so the white took it down a lot but still not not a big fan of that. Okay. Alright maybe I've quieted it down enough to go on now. <laughs> I'm going to put some white and I think I'll try this fabric pink paint. And I'll try just a little bit of that blue. A little bit of that blue looks like it went a long way. I can get it to just barely come out. Okay. 
Okay, so let me lay a template. A stencil. There we go. Stencil. That's the one I couldn't remember. Over this. Can live with that <laughs> okay so there's that and so that is my demo for you on the gel printing jelly plate printing oh there's that's pretty i guess i'll take this blank sheet and print it off kind of don't want to waste it Yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, I mean, I could use that for pockets or whatever as I go. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, <laughs> hope you enjoyed my second video. <laughs> um, and if you like the video, click like and think about subscribing. And we will go on with the rest of the steps next time. Bye-bye.